A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 1, verses 40 to 45. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. A leper came to him, begging on his knees. If you want to, you can cleanse me. Deeply moved, Jesus put out his hand, touched him, and said, I want to be clean. Then and there the leprosy was gone, his skin smooth and healthy. Jesus dismissed him with strict orders. Say nothing to anyone. Take the offering for cleansing that Moses prescribed and present yourself to the priest. This will validate your healing to the people. But as soon as the man was out of earshot, he told everyone he met what had happened, spreading the news all over town. So Jesus kept to out-of-the-way places, no longer able to move freely in and out of the city. But people found him and came from all over. The Gospel of the Lord Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 40 to 45. I want you to be clean. Curing a leper was regarded as impossible as resurrecting a dead person. Leprosy does not kill, but it makes one lose physical sensitivity. The same thing happens to those who lose their moral sensitivity, incapable of distinguishing between right and wrong, what humanizes and what degrades. It is this disfigured image of the leper that represents the image of a sick humanity plagued by violence, injustice and destruction of creation due to the selfishness of each individual. Lepers were regarded as cursed by God and couldn't enter the temple because of their impurity. Jesus is angry that this wrong image of God has been instilled in this poor man's heart. There have been a lot of people who have turned away from the church and from God because our preaching and catechisms failed to present the true face of God to them. Jesus extended his hand to touch the leper. Why does Mark mention that Jesus extended his hand when even a word would have been enough to cure the leper? It is an expression that we find in the Old Testament. When God extended his hand, he would strike the enemies of his people. In this case, it is not the leper who is struck by God's hand, but it is leprosy that destroys the image of God in man. It is touch that makes us feel closer to each other. Jesus touches the leper, caresses the leper. This is our God, the God we now see in Jesus of Nazareth. A God who chose to go into the waters of the Jordan at baptism together with the sinners, now even caresses the leper and says to him, I want you to be purified. <laughs>